Does this woman ever stop? And unfortunately, this became the number one song on U.S. iTunes. We have a problem in this country about race, and the biggest problem is we refuse to admit that it exists. Well, don't no, bitch, it exists. But he wasn't just featuring black people in there. There were white people in there doing shit, too. And might I remind you, asshole, doing it for black people. You don't remember that? You're a racist cunt. Don't you think well, that a lot, the of the, a lot of this that's big city, it, small yeah. town business is racist, is about race? The cities have yes, more black people it. than the small well, towns. It, it, I can't stand these women. I can't stand them either. I used to love The View. When it first came out, it was pretty damn good. My opinion only. Now, they're like everybody else. You don't agree with them. You're in the wrong. Sonny Houston talks to Anna Navarro every day to try to convince her to stop being a Republican and be a Democrat. Yo, fuck you, bitch. If she's a Republican and wants to stay a Republican, she can stay a Republican, even if she votes Democrat. There's no law that says you have to be one thing or another. But no, Sonny Houston has to teach people about things. Like some bitch on YouTube tried to tell me I like to teach people things. Meanwhile, she was the one trying to teach me things, even wanted to teach me how to speak properly. That fucking bitch can't speak properly. You should hear her. People project shit so much, it's crazy. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com, link is in the description section. Put in, I'm back, get 35% off the entire store. Make sure you get one of these shirts, man, they running out fast. Make country music not woke again. Shout out to Jason Aldean, man, the coldest song in the game. Y'all gotta go watch my other video. Uh, I love this song from Jason Aldean. I love the video. What is it? People are now black people are opening up their mouths. It's racist. Uh, why? Because they were committing crimes in the big city and people didn't like it. It wasn't just black people robbing and looting the stores. There were Hispanics, whites. I didn't see Asian, Asian. I didn't say American, I didn't see American Indian or like Pakistani Indian that I didn't see any of them. But all the song is saying is don't bring that shit to a small town. Don't. Everybody thinks black people should be able to get away with shit. There was one girl coming home from a party. She couldn't figure out where her home was. She was too drunk. She broke down, a ripped down a neighbor's screen door, got into his house, and he shot her. Oh, well, he shouldn't have shot her. That was a neighbor. That, that bitch shouldn't have been breaking into his house. I don't care she's black. I don't. There was some guy who was in a party in the building next door, somehow was so drunk, came up here to my apartment and tried breaking in the back door. I grabbed a fucking knife. I don't know what the guy was. I don't know if he was black. I don't know if he was white. He got the door partially open and I started screaming. That's when he stopped because his home, which was in Manhattan, 
there was nobody in it. And here he's got some woman screaming to the top of her lungs. That guy faced whatever penalties he had to face. Now, if this woman had survived, you think she'd be willing to face penalties for what she did? No. Like the bitch who just faked her own fucking kidnapping. Oh, leave her alone. She's got to rest. She's got to fuck her. She's got to go to prison for a while. And not a week, not a year. People have to realize you can't keep pulling these hoaxes. And yet I get told, especially by one black woman here on YouTube, I'm causing a divide. That bitch needs to go look at everything, including herself in the fucking mirror, about division. Uh, where I do a review on that song. But go get you some of this merch. And it's 35% off the entire store, not just this shirt. We got the white version. Just the red version, you know, we got all kind of other stuff. Trump shirts, pro-America shirts, pro-police shirts, all of the above. Go get it on TatumStore.com. Link is in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live. Make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, I made a video about Jason Aldean. And, it, and it's obviously going kind of quasi-viral on my YouTube channel. But you know that the cackling hens on The View cannot go without making this about race i'm waiting for the bitches here in this sector of youtube to start going off on this shit if you haven't watched the jason aldean song and i'm gonna play the clip from mcscrugles them on the view if you haven't watched the song it's called in this small town or like try this in a small town or try that in a small town and it's literally bringing up the violence that we saw in 2020 the bludgeoning of cops, uh, uh, robbery, stealing, thugging, looting, and all of those things we see pervasive in big cities. Where they, I mean, listen, man, you cannot deny that people were afraid. Gun sales in America in 2020 went up, went up astronomically. Exactly, and I don't think it was just white people buying guns too. I think there were black people afraid of what was going on as well, and not from whites, not from white cops from all the rioters and if you go back and watch the videos not all the rioters were black there were whites hispanics every color of the rainbow was in there you can't you can't deny that there was a lot of things that were happening in big cities weren't doing anything about it people just burning the city down they weren't enforcing anything but Jason Aldean comes up with a song that says, "In a, try that in a small town, which everybody with a connected brain stem know that it's true. You mm -hmm. go to you go to a small town in Texas and you think you're going to go burn down the stores because you mad at something. But listen to these cackling hens try to justify or create a racial tension situation out of absolutely nothing. A absolutely nothing. It, it it literally it literally makes me just infuriated at how at how silly these women are. It makes me infuriated. But listen to the clip, and then I'm gonna give my two cents um, as we go on. Wrote a clip. I, listen, you know there are lyrics in the song, and I think you know he talks about life in a small town, and it's different, you know. And he shows these images. He's got uh, folks. Uh, from the Black Lives Matter movement. And he's talking about people taking care of each other. And I find it so interesting that never occurred to Jason or the writers that that's what these folks were doing. What? Whoopi, those folks were destroying things and hurting people. Oh, but you're colorblind. You see black and everybody's got to get away with everything. Well, if you could go through those videos and take the masks off, you would see there were white people there too doing the same bullshit. I swear the view needs to be taken off the air. This is causing division. What? That's what the... Listen, Jason Aldean is playing video footage of crimes. 
Exactly. But with a lot of black people today, you can't say anything about their crimes because they're poor and they're good people. They just want what everybody else has. Well, guess what? There were white people rioting and doing shit too. Not as much as the blacks, but there were. Everyone who was involved in that should be arrested. Black, white, doesn't matter. Arrest them. But here goes Whoopi. No, it's because they cared. Bitch, let them go to your house and fucking destroy your house and your car and flip it over and let them take a shit on your motherfucking car. They're burning buildings. They're spitting in the face of police officers. People are getting robbed. And this bitch who's talking like this, anybody went to her house to do this shit, who's the first people she's going to call? She's going to call the fucking cop. There was a black woman who was something to the city, an official or whatever. She was for defunding the cops. But she called them for an escort because she's a public figure and she needs to be protected. You need to be protected by the people you want to defund. They don't think. Are you really that stupid to say that they what they were doing in the video that that Jason Aldean was playing, not what you think that was representing, but the actual footage? You're saying that's consistent with small town behavior? They were yes, she is. It doesn't matter. It was on the news. That was only done to make black people look bad. Not that it was actually happening. Not that there were other people involved as well. We're taking care of the people in their town because they didn't like what they saw. Just hold on, I can't. I can. You're they're destroying the town because they don't like what's going on to the people in the town. What about that? Um, was it in Oregon? They, they they took over a whole city. Reports were coming out. Women were being raped. People were being bed up. People were getting killed. And they were trying to blame it on the cops. But the cops were told to stay out of it. And there were news cameras all over the place. The cops were listening. They were staying out of it. That was allowed. If Whoopi was there, she'd blame the cops for not doing nothing. She's another hypocrite bitch. Lord Jesus. They were taking care of people in their time. No, no, they were busting these people in to another city. There you go. There's video footage of them busting people in, even to a fucking bridge to start trouble. But of course, you keep spilling your lies, Whoopi, you dumb bitch. To burn it down. They they are withdrawing businesses from communities because people were there acting a fool, looting, killing, stealing, thugging. They weren't, they it wasn't their town. You can see any news clip. They're saying these people ain't even from here. They busting these people in and they're causing violence and leaving. Also, I think people were coming in from other places because they saw how easy it was to rob shit and get away with it. Where's all that shit they said they were selling on eBay? They're not getting those people for selling it? No. But all the black people that were there doing that shit want reparations. Fuck you. Should find out who every single one of them are and let them live homeless somewhere. Put them on an island somewhere and let them fend for themselves. Black, white, all of them. Roll the clip. Like you talk about people taking care of each other in small towns. We do the same thing in big towns. You just have to realize that when you make it about black lives matter, people kind of say, well, are you, are you 
Talk about black people? What are you talking about here? Black lives didn't matter during the riots. You didn't see how many black-owned mom-and-pop businesses were being rioted and looted? Things they saved up for their whole fucking lives? One woman, they were destroying her place in front of her. They hit her for trying to stop them. A black woman. You're going to tell me that didn't fucking happen? The news made that up? Yeah. He didn't say not one thing about Black Lives Matter. I don't even think there was a Black Lives Matter sign. It wasn't even a Black Lives Matter sign, I don't think, in his music video. They, they're No, but they're saying every black person in that video was Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is not Black Lives Matter. It was a way for the Democratic Party to get money, number one. Number two, they changed it to crimes committed against black people. Not against kids, not against black kids. Oh, no, 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 no. Basically, white cops killing black people. What about that little boy in the ambulance? You think he was the only one? The Black Lives Matter blocked off a highway and that little boy could not get to a hospital. He died. He was six fucking years old. A black boy. Didn't matter to the Black Lives Matter protesters. Fuck you, bitch. They're projecting. They know, they know who was cutting up. And they're projecting of each other, then it shouldn't be about Black Lives Matter. You should be able to show all the different things that have gone on. They, he did show all the different things that were going on. He showed white people fucking around during that time, too. What the fuck are you lying for? In our country where people stood up and said no more. We do the same thing that small towns do. That's no, and Right now, people are starting to stand up and say no more, just like people did in the civil rights days. People are tired of this bullshit. They're starting to stand up. You and everybody else want to push them down. There's all this video evidence out of your mouth, bitch. You shouldn't fucking play. It's my two cents to that. I bet. I'm actually not going to give. All right, it's going to get stupider. I just want you to know if if your IQ is already struck. Sunny Houston. Oh my God, she's been spewing shit for so fucking long. It's unbelievable. Struggling, you finna lose. You finna lose a couple points on this one. You're gonna turn into a Neanderthal listening to this fool. But just know this: what's going to happen? Him the benefit of the doubt, and I'm pleased that you are. And well, I'm you, pleased you, that you, you are. You do agree that he should be allowed to say I, whatever he because wants. Because as a lawyer, when I put my legal hat on, yeah, okay. I don't believe in censorship. Right. However, this man is from Macon, Georgia. My father's from Augusta, Georgia, and Macon, Georgia. I both? spent many summers there. Yeah, both. I spent many summers mm -hmm. there. It is one of the most racist places. Fuck you, cunt. This guy didn't do anything to you. But because other people did, you're going to blame him. When white people pull that fucking shit, you're all up in arms, right? Right? Fuck you. Places in this country. Uh -huh. you, know how, you know how inflammatory that is? Making Georgia and Augusta is the most rape and do you realize assholes listening to this bitch right now might go to macon and augusta georgia and try to tear down those towns they got away with it once before they may think they can get away with again with it again how come people take calculators to, to stores to rob so they don't hit a thousand dollars why Because they know what they're doing is wrong, but they're finding ways around it. But no, reparations. Fuck you. Racist play. Do you know how inflammatory that is? If a if a, and, and we 
Stevie Wonder can see that it's probably bull crap. I, I feel like I want. Yeah, but Stevie Wonder probably wants his fucking reparations too, which would be blood money. Danny Glover spoke at one of these hearings for reparations. He wanted his reparations. Danny Glover has how much fucking money? It doesn't want matter. He wants his ancestors' money. His ancestors deserve that money for what they went through, for all the work and the hardships they went through. Not Danny Glover. Fuck out of here. I want to just fly there and, and go, go in the community and see how racist it is. Probably ain't racist whatsoever. But that's what these cackling hands do. Yes, like this one bitch I was dealing with on YouTube. She knows for a fact I'm a member of the KKK. And then another dumb bitch said 100% true. Fuck you. That's causing racial divide. Saying there's no equality is causing a racial divide. Saying black people are stupid and unworthy of shit is causing a racial divide. What the fuck is wrong with people? And just imagine how hurt they would feel if they said Chicago is the most ghetto place because all these black people there, it, they didn't destroy Chicago and it's ghetto. Everywhere where black people are at, the most ghetto places ever. A white person say that, she'll fall out this chair and cry. But it's okay to, to paint an entire city. Where does she live? Where does Whoopi live? Where does Patrice, Patrice Colors live? live? Where does she live? Where do the Obamas live? Get off the racial crutch. An entire small town of, of, of everybody being racist. So don't tell me that he knew nothing. And this lady got to be 50. So this used to about 30 years ago. Okay. I'm about not, what that imagery meant say he didn't and know what he... Uh, so I don't give him... The imagery is from the news. We've all seen it before. What do you think? Nobody has seen that shit? You're a racist, race-baiting bitch. Cunt. But I'm saying, along with him, more cow. people should yeah. also... Look at this idiot. Along with him, everybody else... You, you're a coward. You are, you're a straight coward. Along with him, everyone else. Well, what about all these rappers who talk about hurting people, hurting women, robbing places, drugs, and whatever? Get them too. Equality, equality. You're getting uh, white people for trying to say this shit. White people can't say white pride. White people can't say Christian pride. White people can't say straight pride. But everybody else can say black pride. That's all shit to be proud of. Fucking morons. The other thing is that what I, what was evoked for me, which was, you know, I, you're not going to get out of this town, yeah. are those sundown Yeah, don't let the sun areas go down. Fuck yous. Fuck yous. You know, I really wish Channel 7, Disney, whoever owns this show, would come out and say, because of the bullshit you bitches keep putting out there to divide people, we're canceling this show. And whenever you try to get another job, we're going to show them all your stupid shit. Where will you run to? You lose the view. You're going to run to BET because they'll put up with all this bullshit. They don't give a fuck. Oh, uh, he ain't black. Look at this shit. This bitch does nothing but put white people down. Look at her mother. This is her mother. 
So Sonny Houston is mixed, but she's completely pro-black. Michi X, mixed, completely pro-black. Some bitch I saw on a TikTok video that was on a YouTube video that I saw today. Mixed, acting totally pro-black. Pro Why? Because they want to fit the fuck in. Her mother is sitting there supporting her. No, everybody has to accept her, support her, love her, praise her. Fuck you. What do you need with all that for? Fucking, oh, uh, Colin Kaepernick. He was adopted by white people and raised very well. He put them down as well. What the fuck? His parents, when they, his parents had adopted him, what should they have done? Taken him and thrown him in the fucking ocean and let the, the sharks get him and whatever? They raised him. They loved him. And he turned on them. Fuck you. Okay. What does your mother got to do? She ain't black. <laughs> She's not even from Georgia. She said her father was. Probably before he met her mama. And my mother and father, because... And her son goes to Harvard, by the way. Or one of these Ivy League schools. But she won't take him out of there because the white people, she... Okay, anyway. He don't go to the HBCU. I just want you to know that. They were an interracial cup. <laughs> she wants him to have a white education, not a black education. But that's not racist, right? couple were run out of South Carolina by the KKK. So uh, that's the KKK. Where's the KKK now? Maybe the KKK was something in the 70s. But they're not anything now. They couldn't be anything now. Way too many white people don't believe in that shit. But it seems like black people, especially black women, want to bring up the KKK. Fuck the two bitches that brought it up here about me, and fuck this bitch too. Augusta, Georgia, and whatever other place in Georgia is where she said is the most racist place on earth. But then she's talking about her dad is running out of, in the Carolinas. Lady, make your mind up. Make your mind up. You talking about Georgia, now you talking about somewhere else. She's talking about Georgia because of Jason Aldean. I think she specifically wants people to go there and destroy his hometown to prove a point. Like some bitch. I'm not I, I'm going to say her name. Fuck her now too. Arabia Barbosa 914 Westchester County, New York. Blah 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 blah. blah. Some bitch told her to go for my blood. Where did I bring up violence other than I will defend myself? No, but the melanin makes black people so gentle and kind and wonderful and bullshit. Who's the first one to bring up race? In all the arguments I've been in, black people... Who's the first one to bring up they want to hunt someone down and get them? Because they know in front of their face, I'm not going to say shit. Black people, well, black women. Uh, more violence, go for my blood, a black woman. On a black woman's chat. This is fucking crazy. And these couple of bitches really do. It's like that one bad apple spoils the bunch. This is fucking insane. And this bitch should get up and smack her daughter right in her fucking mouth. 
And my father is still. And I don't care that that's violent. I don't care. I'm tired. Still scarred from that experience, and you are still scarred from that experience. Because your father's a coward. That's why. Okay, he's saying a coward. I don't think so. I think leaving that community and going someplace else was probably the best decision the two of them could have made. Why are you going to stay somewhere where your life is in danger 24-7? Just because you're in love and you want to be together and you want a family and you want this and you want that. Two people cannot take on a whole city or a whole town or whatever. So they left there for their safety, for their kids' safety. Come on, fuck you, bitch. That's why he's still scarred from that experience. And I don't like the way he's saying the father's a coward. If his kids and his wife and himself were in danger, the safest thing to do is to remove them from that danger. Protect them as you're moving them away from the danger. I don't see where Sonny Housen's father could have done anything more. He couldn't have stayed there and fight. They might be dead now. You don't know. And this ungrateful little bitch might not even be here. 50 years ago, he's still crying because a white man was ran him out of the city. Shut up. Bro. What the fuck if I sat here and said, I don't want to know any more black people because of Arabia. Keep the change. Queenie or Queenity now. Trace Spectives, um, says Sister T in her big fucking mouth, and the other people. If I didn't want to be around black people anymore because I was hurt too much. That's not right. No, you can't blame a whole race for what a few do. Well, why not? The black people are doing it left and right. Look at this shit. So we're don't all tell still scarred. From yeah, that we all still scarred. Whoopi, where the fuck are you scarred? You're oppressed, you fucking cunt rag. Let's see, how much is your net worth? And I don't want to hear anybody say, well, she worked for it. Because if she was oppressed, she wouldn't have been allowed to work. Whoopi Goldberg's net worth, $60 million. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's like Jada Pinkett Smith. Fuck her too. We're all being oppressed. You got 60 million fucking dollars? You ain't oppressed, bitch. Money talks. It's the paupers that don't have any money who are trampled all over. Where the fuck was Whoopi's house fucking broken into? Like that couple in the gated community. What about the woman, the pregnant woman and her child, George motherfucking Floyd, tormented and assaulted because he was robbing them? Oh, but George Floyd is a fucking hero because of what Chauvin did. Chauvin acted appropriately until George Floyd wasn't moving. Once he wasn't moving, get the fuck up. Get up. Oh no, he's claustrophobic. He couldn't get in the cop car. No, he was a re he was resisting arrest. He was high on bullshit 
and he was sitting in his smaller car, windows completely shut, and three other people in the car. But George Floyd is a fucking hero. People are fucking nuts. Shut the front door. Clarence Thomas don't give up about what y'all talking about. He married to a white woman. All these people. And this bitch dated Ted Danson and convinced him to go in blackface to some kind of event or party or something. And she said people need to get over stuff. But she's not over stuff. Hypocrite used cunt rag bitch. I think that I think what's her name, Mary? Uh Sonny Holston. Is she she got a kid with a white man? Look it up real quick. Sonny Holston. Oh, we we all scar. My mama still scar for what the white man did. And they be marrying white people. We already know Lori you know. Dirty Foot married married to a white woman. A bitch on here named Keep the Change agreed with a bitch named Arabia Barbosa 100% that I am definitely a member of the KKK. Bitch, you're that fucking racist. Why did you marry a white man? Why? If white people are that horrible, why did you marry one? You're another hypocrite fucking cunt. Don Lemon married to a white man. I don't even call it marriage. They're in a civil union with these people. Uh, you want to go down the list? Ruby Goldberg. So Ruby Goldberg's first husband was white. And she's talking about she's scarred. What about Sonny Holston? He mixed. He ain't even all the way. He, he mixed with something. She can't even get an all black man. She got to get a mixed dude. Talking about she's scared of the white man. I bet his parents are white. One of his parents is white. All right, come on. Let's keep talking. We scared, we still scarred, but y'all marrying white people. And all black people are so scared of white people. Why do they all open up their mouths? Oh, because they have the right to. Well, so do white people. Most of the bitches I've dealt with on YouTube, you're not on a black person's thing. You're on a white man's platform. Because remember, as soon as it's not convenient for you, Jewish people are completely white, even though they don't consider themselves white. Okay? You don't like the way YouTube censors you. But you are still saying whatever the fuck you want. People throw away around the word pedophile and groomer like it's nothing for everybody. It's even used in retaliation. But you're on this platform doing it? All of the pieces of shit I've dealt with on YouTube. And like I said, there's a small handful of good ones. But all the other pieces of shit need to go sit down, check themselves, and think about what they've done. But they're so oppressed. They got to think about what they're doing right now. But they're so oppressed. Get the, shut the front door. Don't tell me that not only was he aware of what he was doing by using that imagery, he embraces that imagery. And unfortunately... No, you guys are the ones embracing that imagery. You're embracing it because those people were fighting for something. No, they weren't. They were pissed off and getting away with doing crimes. That's what that was. You're embracing that imagery. That imagery shouldn't exist because it should have never happened. All those riots because of that piece of shit, George Floyd. Fuck you. This became the number one song 
on U.S. iTunes. Why? It's like when Ice-T's Cop Killer song went to number one. People started complaining about it. Nobody knew this song really existed until people started bitching about it. Nobody really knew uh, Ice-T's Cop Killer song existed until people started bitching about it and the news got a hold of it. You are one dopey fucking piece of shit cunt. We have a problem in this country about race, and the biggest problem is we refuse to admit that it exists. Wrong. We're all admitting it exists. But certain people push the issue. They're called race baiters, and you're one of them. I've met a lot of them on here. That fucking bitch Arabia Barbosa said, well, you're white coming from you. It hits differently. So I'm just supposed to sit here and take whatever she throws at me? Whatever anybody throws at me? No, I'm not fucking doing it. And just to be clear, she hasn't said shit about me in a while. This is just bringing up all the bullshit she fucking did. She fucking caused. And apparently I'm still mad at her for that shit. But she can be mad at the entire white race? Yeah, fuck that bitch and fuck this bitch too. Well, don't you think well, that a lot, the of the, a lot of this big that's city, of small it, yeah. town businesses races is about race? The cities have yes, more black people it. than the small well, towns. It's no it, reason it to separate race. big city people from small town no. people. That to me is the divisive part of this. I can't say that's not it. When you're in a smaller community, you know all the people. Most of them you consider friends. And you want to protect your area. Black, white, it doesn't matter. You want to protect what you consider yours. You're another douchebag cunt. Take it. I can't take it. I can't. These people are so stupid. I can't take it. Now, Jason Aldean, which whom I met, and Candace Owens, and, and like Jason Aldean's wife and Candace Owens are incredibly good friends. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Oh, but that's because Candace Owens is black and Jason Aldean's wife wants to fit in, right? Wrong. They're friends. So what? Let them be friends. There's no divide there between them. There shouldn't be a divide anywhere where race is concerned. If the man was a racist and he want to do imagery of black and brown bodies and looting and shooting and stealing and dealing, why is Candace Owens one of his best friends? She black. Because, Officer Tatum, like they believe you're an Uncle Tom, she's an Aunt Thomasita. You're both coons, all this shit, sucking the white man's dick. Well, especially the fucking pieces of shit I've met on YouTube. They're sucking the white man's dick. Getting that YouTube check, a check getting cash apps which, by the way, was not started by a black person, getting super chats and whatever the fuck else. Like I said, a lot of people need to check themselves and figure out what the fuck they're doing. She wants it. He was at her premiere of her documentary about Black Lives Matter. He there. That's where I met him at. But they racist. You know, I, I want to scream. I want to scream. I want to shout. Like, I, I can't, I can't, I can't take it. They so stupid. Exactly. Like the bitches and male bitches as well, I've dealt with here on YouTube. And it's not 
all, and I have to keep saying this because majority are too stupid, or maybe they're not stupid. Maybe they just want to use this to break up what little black friendships I have. Whatever, whatever few people I have left. They're acting like this is a game. This isn't a game. Calling me a KKK member could hurt them. And it's not true. Go find files from the KKK. And see if you find my name in it. Well, you won't find my real name because I haven't given you as my real name. <laughs> but my real name wouldn't be in there either. This is just crazy. I didn't obey and follow the norm. That's why people went against me. That bitch queen of the I have AIDS or HIV. No, I don't. Queen of T, again, fucking cunt rag bitch, said my husband died of the, on the couch of a meth overdose and our young son found him there dead. I never said that. According to her, I told her the only time we talked was on her panel and in her chat. Go find that video, you fucking douchebag bitch. Find the video where I said all those lies. Go ahead. Again, Arabia Barbosa, that fucking bitch, said something like I was catfishing people. I said on Johnny Blaze's panel I was big. No, I didn't tell people how big. I showed her a picture because she kept opening up her fucking mouth. She wanted to come here. I would rather have people have the whole idea of what's going on here. Than walk in and be like, oh, so shocked and whatever. Also with Arabia, I sent them to Lonnie. Because I trusted her. I still trust her. I sent a picture when I was 11 years old to uh, Rashida Taylor. And I would trust Barbie girl Tina with my shit. I would. She's barely on. I barely talk to her. But I would trust her. But hey, Arabia put my picture out there. That's a form of doxing. She had no right to do that. But that maggot-filled, dirty cunt rag did it. And then when Will T was trying to defend me on his panel, and the only thing he was saying to defend me was I had a right to defend myself. Everybody jumped on him. He's black. They're black. He wasn't allowed to say that as far as they were concerned. White people did a lot of shit for a long time. We have come a long way. Everyone, black, white, whatever, we've come so far from the days of slavery, from the civil rights days. But no, especially these motherfuckers, if most of them are like this, them and the Democrats in control are causing the racial divide. And it doesn't have to happen. Jason Aldean ain't a racist. And in the stupid little minds of these people, everybody ain't thinking about race. The man went... Exactly. Every argument I've had, who was the first one to bring up race? The black people. I didn't give a fuck they were black. You're starting shit with me, I'm going to defend myself. And if that means I got to curse you out, oh well, fuck you. 
But no, it hits differently coming from a white person. Fuck you. Went to a small town. The man lived in a small town. Y'all talking about he referring to Black Lives Matter. Y'all done made Black Lives Matter worse than what it is because, well, no, I ain't made it worse. But y'all are alluding to it being worse than what you're trying to portray. He showed clips of violence and stupidity. And, and I he showed what happened. It wasn't actors trying to imagine what happened. That stuff really happened. And he never once said Black Lives Matter. And what's the second image you see of rioters or whatever? A white woman yelling in a cop's face who spit on him. I think it's the image after that, a white woman walking down the street, sticking up her middle fingers up and down, up and down, looking like a jerk off. No. But he's racist. It's racist. I'm racist. Fuck you. The racists I've come across have been here on YouTube. And they're black. And all these things that people shouldn't have been doing. That's not protest. That's violence. Yeah. Y'all saying he talking about Black Lives Matter. Y'all, yeah, gotta be the stupidest women on planet Earth. Has to be. It, it, you have to be. You have to be the most intellectually dishonest people on planet earth There's not just the view women the majority of people i've met here on youtube like i said there's a small handful who are not but the rest exactly like this shit there's nobody more dishonest than these women i cannot stand when, when black people start talking about white people and they married to them keep the change Keep the motherfucking change. What the fuck? Barbie girl Tina is a great lady. She's mixed. Okay, yes. Michi X talks too much pro-black shit. But when you hear her, like when she used to have discussions with Tommy Sotomayor, that's what made me like her. Not because she was giving him a chance. No, no, no. Because she was talking sense. Oh, well, the white side of my family didn't want me. My father used to call me this, that, that, that. So your father was a fucking asshole. His family was a fucking asshole. And they lost out on knowing... Oh, what the fuck name did she put out there? Michelle. They missed out on knowing Michelle, who was probably a great fucking kid. And who, even though she spouts this stupid rhetoric, is actually a great woman. They missed out. Barbie girl Tina is half white. I'm so glad I got to know her. She's half white, half black. Amazing woman. And no, not because she looks white. No. Just because of how she is, who she is. But what did people do as soon as she started telling them off? Oh, that white bitch, that white bitch. She wasn't a white bitch when she was doing what you were saying. And who brought up race in that instance? A black bitch. You want to use white bitch? Black bitch. That's equality. You, you want to skip over your white man and his family, but the white man is bad. You, you Your kid don't go to an HBCU. Your kid go to Harvard. Nothing but white people. There you go. And you want to kind of skip over that experience. It's just stupid to me. Maybe it's Howard. Harvard. Go to Harvard. Nothing but white people. Why don't you go to HBCU? Because, like, black people and their black flight away from the black community into a white community, this is the same thing.
All right, I know why he didn't go to HBCU. Tommy Sotomayor's daughter once said to her father, and this is what he said on one of his videos. So I'm not ratting him out. We've never had private conversations, nothing. She said, no, don't go to this store. Go to the other one. Go to the white one. Because even she knew how black people acted. She's black. Her mother's black. Her father's black. She noticed this. What, is she racist too? You see, the sky is blue. That's racist. The sun is out. That's racist. It's snowing out. That's really racist because snow is white. Fuck you people. All this racial bullshit. Anyway, I'm done talking about this. I'll see y'all on the next one, bro. I'm out. This is all so stupid. And here we go. If you don't know what that says, it says, I stand with Jason Aldean. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't say anything wrong. And fuck everyone who thinks he did.